This is the Akron where LeBron James grew up, before the nice cars or the sneaker contracts. Before he was the chosen one, he and his mother lived in 11 different places in a three-year stretch. When, when you're doing it and, and you're following your mom and your mom is telling you, well, it's time to, you know, it's time to go, it's time to, you know, it's time to pack up and move, you, you don't ask many questions. Was there a hard part of it? Was there a part that was difficult? I was scared, uh, scared at times that my mom wasn't going to come back home. Um, you know, angry at times where, you know, I would see something on TV and I would warn and I couldn't get it. I couldn't understand that. I was watching basketball games and football games and I would see these athletes. I was hoping someday I could be those people, um, not only to be on that stage, but also to be able to support my family. And people know that about you because they see your mom everywhere supporting you, but they never hear about your dad. Right. What's that like for you? Do you have any contact with your biological father? No, I don't. You know, I never had a relationship with him. Um, you know, and, and as a kid, you know, I was always frustrated about that. I was always angry and mad at my dad for not being around. Um, you know, as a grown-up now, I, I look back on it and saying, well, you know, I, I don't know if I should be that angry. I don't know what my father was going through in his life at the time. So, you know, it gives me another perspective. James' life stabilized when he moved to this apartment building. That, one, that far right one, apartment 602 is where I grew up uh, from age 10 to high school. Is this the nicest place you live? Is this the... This is the Trump Hotel right here. This is like Four Seasons rich right there. <laughs> I can look off that balcony and look basically through the whole city of Akron. James is still looking over Akron. His LeBron James Family Foundation, Wheels for Education, and Boys and Girls Clubs projects funnel millions of dollars to underprivileged children here. You know who that is. I don't know Dwayne Wade. Who is that? You know, you try to get them young. You know, try to get them on the right path so... They don't make a lot of mistakes that I've seen a lot of kids and, and some of my friends, uh, you know, make when I was younger. One of James' programs is guiding a group of third graders through to their high school graduation in 2021, providing them tutors and mentors, monitoring their after-school activities, and giving them safe places to play. Your kids have dreams, and you should try to do everything possible to make that dream become reality. Do you have credibility with a kid who doesn't have much because you grew up without having as much? Absolutely. I can relate to them. And they can relate to me when they hear my story and I let them know that I grew up, uh, you know, in the Spring Hill apartments on the west side of Akron. And, you know, this is poverty. I get an opportunity to check in with, uh, with a few of the kids, just try to keep them on course. You know, it's difficult, but hopefully that I can use my word, use my power to um, just give them my outlook.